What up guys, Ashley Elizabeth here with AHM Artistry and I have what hopefully is a super fun, crazy product and it is new from IGK and it's called the FOMO Holographic Hair Foam. I played around with it a little bit so I'm gonna show you how I like to use it and uh, tell you my overall thoughts. So I use the IGK brand in my professional kit for when I'm hairstyling and I love the brand. Everything so far has been super awesome. So when I saw that they were coming out with this holographic hair foam, I was stocking it and as soon as it launched, I got my hands on it. Only color that I was able to find in stock was Meteor. They do have another pink shade that I'll pop up right here so you can see what that looks like. So I'm really interested in trying that one but we'll have to do this one this time. The only thing I was surprised with is its size. When they handed it to me, I was like, oh, is this the travel size? Like, that's neat. And they're like, no, that's just the size. So I'm not sure how many uses you can get out of this. It is two ounces. And then I believe it retails for 22. I'll put a link down below, obviously, of where you can get it. I believe that they are available all in Sephora's. Now, this line is cruelty-free. This product here is vegan. It also has UVA protection, petroleum, and mineral oil-free, paraben-free, and sulfate-free. So it is a really healthy, natural line, but yet you don't sacrifice styling. So that's what I love about it. This is not sponsored. IGK has no idea who I am. I just use their products and I love it. So it says you can create holographic hair with this shade shifting, glitter packed foam that goes from blue to purple. So it kind of has that shift as your hair moves in the light. So really it just means there's like two different types of glitter in there. They're really finely milled. So they have that nice shift. Spends a small amount into hands and then scrunch into hair for a subtle shimmery effect. If you want more of an opaque finish, you can use your fingers or a comb to like actually comb the foam directly through the hair. Or you can do it in sections, you can paint with it, like with a brush, like a, either a hair coloring brush or a makeup brush that you don't mind getting glitterified. You can use this wet or dry. You can like put it in wet hair and then let it dry. I did a little section back here after I washed my hair yesterday and it was really easy to go on. It wasn't crunchy or anything, but it dried. And then once I brushed it, it went away. So it's nice that it's very brushable. You could easily brush this foam out and it's not gonna be gross. But yeah, I didn't really see the appeal of putting it in wet specifically. Uh, so I like instant gratification. Let's go ahead and put this right on my dry hair. Let's go ahead and take my rings off too while we're at it because I don't want them to get really gnarly. <laughs> Gotta give it a good shake and I will show you what this stuff looks like. Ooh, foamy. All right, so I like it super intense. So I'm gonna actually, see how that does that? Ooh, I'm gonna put it right on my roots for like, ooh, see that super intense effect. I wanna say like, you know, for the average user, we'll really like it for holidays, festivals, events, but I freaking like it for a Wednesday, which is what today is. You work it and then you paint it on. Oh yeah. See how easy that is? Just goes right in. And I noticed, cause I was playing around with it, you know, once it dries, it's not, like, it's, like I said before, it's very brushable which is hard to find. Like usually you have to do like those glitter hairsprays that are super crunchy and weird. IGK has a glitter hairspray that I haven't tried yet, but I'm curious. Their hair, regular hairspray is awesome. So if it's just that with glitter in it, then I'm freaking sold. You can see that. Yeah, it's funny. Holographic is like the word that marketing companies kind of just say when they mean like different glitters, but it's still pretty, I don't mind. All right, let's go ahead and do like my front pieces and see how that looks on the kind of silvery lavender part. The only thing is with this, make sure it's like upside down all the way or else it doesn't come out all the way and you kind of mush it. This is fun. You guys having fun painting with me? Ooh. How pretty. Super cool. Look at my hands though. Oh my gosh, they look like robot hands. Beep boop, beep boop, beep. Uh, that is some thick freaking foam. Go ahead and see what it looks like scrunched in. You know, and it gives a slight texture, but it's nice. Like it's not chunky. You can see like the separation. That looks really neat. Really neat. Let's 
Easy, boring, fun. Let's go ahead and comb it in, see if that really makes a difference. Okay, now I got a little bit of texture with that. That's nice. So before I just like did a slight barrel curl, oh my goodness, it really <laughs> has texture if you scrunch it in. Uh, so, like it still maintained the shape and then just added like texture, so kind of like has a beachy curl to it now. But let's look it up so you can see. So you can see all the shift in there. Not as concentrated on the bottom, but more slight and really pretty. See all that texture that I have in my hair now? So let's go ahead and like kind of comb that. Oh yeah, it combs pretty easy. So that's nice. It's not super soft anymore. It's almost like that feeling of dry shampoo left over, where it's not, you're clean, but you're like almost powdered. Like it has that kind of slight powder, but look at it, it can definitely brush through. Yeah, so see, I just brushed right there and it lost some of that intensity. So definitely a brushable glitter, which is pretty much unusual for the market of hair glitter. Usually they're really thick, but you don't get as much color payoff. This is a little more almost subtle, as subtle as a glitter can be. I personally think this is a lot more wearable. It's nice that I can just scrunch my hair and get a slight texture without it being like rock hard stiff. Have you used those glitter sprays that are just atrocious? And like glitter gels are awesome, but they are, they're gels. They like, they freaking stay put. You know what? On camera, it's not picking up the holographicness, I don't think, as much as I want it to, but when I look at it, it shifts. It definitely shifts a lot between the blue and the purple, so much so that makes it almost like pinkish. It's crazy. And by the way, we used a lot on my hair today. Like, I couldn't help but keep adding and adding and adding, and there's still quite a bit left. I would say it's at least to there. So it seems like it still has quite a few uses. I definitely jacked up the bottle a lot and I jacked up my hands. Well, as far as galaxy hair goes, this is taking me there. That is for freaking sure. I can't help but keep playing with it. Like this video could be like a can long because I'm just playing and playing and playing. But you kind of get a gist of it. I wanted to show you guys this is really unique, cool product. Is it necessary? Absolutely not. Is it fun? Absolutely yes. So what do you guys think? Are you guys gonna find this and try it out? Are you gonna use it just on a regular Tuesday or you have a special event that you're gonna go to? Let me know in the comments below if you're excited for this little gem. Before you guys leave, you know what to do. Hit that little subscribe button so you find out when I post new things. I post hair, skin, makeup, nails, la, 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 and you don't wanna miss a beat. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye. And I went and just washed my hands, so if you're wondering if it cleans off pretty easy, it did. It wasn't very hard, but I didn't do that great of a job because I have a little bit of residue on this side. However, this hand is much better. Definitely don't wear the shirt that you want to wear unless you want glitter all over it because my shirt does have a lot of glitter on it in my pants. And we did have one little casualty, my slipper. But that's okay. You know, just part of the game. <laughs>